Hi everybody, today we will visit the Palacio Massimo. Here you can see a rich collection of mosaics and sculpture of the ancient Rome. In this video we will talk about mosaics and in the next one about the sculpture. Mosaics in the ancient room were a common feature of private homes and uh, public buildings across the empire from Africa to Antioch. Mosaics show everyday items as clothes, food, weapon, flora and fauna, different activities like sport, gladiator contests. Mosaics otherwise known as Opus Tessellatum were made with small black, white and colored squares. The Opus Tessalatum from the Latin cub dis is a common form of ancient mosaic. This mosaic technique is well suited to, to geometric design and is particularly used for pattern fields or backgrounds. The Villa della Farnesina is one of the most representative buildings of Renaissance architecture of early 16th century. Under a part of uh, the garden of that villa there were archaeological finds and in the 19th century there was found the luxurious house of Marco Vespaniano Agrippa and uh, Giulia Maggiore. Because of the place it was found, it was called Casa della Farnesina. Frescas from this house we can see here. For example, here we can see how were decorated the bedrooms in the ancient room. The bedrooms of the house we are talking about were opened onto a rectangular unroofed space that probably was a garden. The walls that surrounded real garden were decorated with a painted garden. And this is a decoration of dining room. In the center of the dining room was a table with three coaches on which the diners reclined when they ate. And this is a decoration of corridor. The corridor connected uh, two wings of the villa. I already told that mosaic are known as Opus Tessellatum. The Opus Tessellatum from Latin Tessella cube is a common form of ancient mosaic. This mosaic technique is well suited to geometric design and is particularly used uh, for pattern fields or backgrounds. The Roman patterns made of small white and black tiles are known as Roman mosaic art. For the mosaic we used marble, glass, stone, ceramic and even seashell. A base was first prepared with fresh mortar and uh, the tissera positioned as close together as uh, possible with any gaps then filled uh, with liquid mortar in a process known as grouting. The whole was then cleaned and polished. As mosaics evolved in the second century BC, smaller and more precisely cut tessera were used, sometimes as small as 4 mm or less, and design employed a wide spectrum of colors with colored grouting to match surrounding tessera. This particular type of mosaic, which used sophisticated coloring and shading to create an effect similar to paintings, is known as Opus Vermiculatum, and one of its greatest craftsmen was Sorus of Pergamon. His works were copied centuries after. The dominant style in Italy itself used only black and white tessera. Such style used till the 3rd century CE, 
Most often it was used to represent marine motif, especially when they used to represent Roman barges, such as Caracalla barges, for example. There was also a preference for more uh, two-dimensional representations and an emphasis on geometric designs. Over time, the mosaics became more and more realistic. The way used uh, portraits of human figures and uh, detailed portraits in mosaic became more common. Meanwhile, in the eastern part of uh, the Empire, and especially in Antioch, the 4th century CE saw the spread of a mosaic which used two-dimensional and repeated motifs to create a carpet effect, a style which later had a big influence on Christian churches and Jewish synagogues. For floors also used larger pieces that created a grand scale. Opus Fignum flooring used a colored mortal aggregate, usually red, with a small white pieces. Crosses using five red tessera and a central tessera in black uh, were a very common design in Italy in the first century BC, and uh, such designs continued onto the first century CE, but more typically using only black tiles. The second type of flooring in Roma was opus tactile. It used large colored stone or marble slabs cut into particular shapes. It was used in many public buildings and later also became more common in private villas and under the Egyptian influence began to use a packed glass as uh, the primary material. Mosaics not only used for floors, Walls, columns and fountains were often decorated with mosaics, opus massivum. It also was used especially in the decoration of thermal badges. This mosaic was also used for the floor decoration.
And here we can see the long walls of the burial buildings from the 1st century AD. These frescoes were discovered around 1939 in the area of Lungotvere of Petra Papa. They decorated holes of thermal area. The design of marina life, river and mythological figures decorated also the barrier walls. These beautiful frescoes decorated the dining room of the Villa di Livia. Livia was the wife of uh, the Emperor Augustus.